I was, I think, slapped twice in my youth, and to date, I don't know why I was slapped. We don't choose to whom we are born. Acquire these tags to do something, and I think maybe they need to change the laws. Stop child cruelty completely, so that uh, it does not affect our children. Just say no. Equality, justice, and hope for the true beneficiaries of our future, our children. Thank you very much for having us today, Siddharth. Um, so, one would say that as a, a member of the privileged society, that you may not have had experiences of physical punishment. Is that true? Uh, have you experienced anything similar? Physical punishment in schools? How did you feel at the time as a child and how do you feel about it now? Good afternoon, Tush. Uh, on the contrary, I have been abused. Uh, I was, I think, slapped twice in my youth. And to date, I don't know why I was slapped. So, and it's an intriguing sort of thing. You know, when, whenever you think about it, you, you wonder what made those uh, teachers do a thing like that. And I guess uh, that's the worrying thing. You may be exposed to this kind of thing, uh, without you actually knowing why and it could be the frustration in the offender's uh, mind or it could be certain prejudices and I, I think we need to get rid of that and the only way is uh, to do what you're trying to do you know stop child cruelty completely so that uh, it does not affect our children. So as you say it's that you know it's, it's quite normalized you know um, hitting a child, physical punishment, is very normalized in our society. And so much so that it is in existence not just in schools, but in the sports fields or in, in drama class or a singing class. Uh, we all know that we witnessed a, a very terrible incident of a young ruggerite who was slapped uh, publicly. Um, what are your thoughts and how, what kind of advice can you give as a former sports person, as a person who has been in management as well, um, to reduce violence against children in sports? Yes, first of all, Tush, I think when I think of why this sort of thing is happening more so than when we were young, I think it's the mere, the sheer pressure, the peer pressure and the pressure, uh, teachers, coaches all feel today uh, in, in this modern world, you know, the, the competition, in everything has changed, gone to a different level. Even the teachers are under a lot more stress. You know, it could be domestic stress, economic stress, any sort of stress. And I think the stress levels, uh, the stress and strain of a human being today, I think is far greater than when we were young because teachers were a lot more relaxed when I think back. There was no tuition like what is happening today. And even sportsmen, uh, sports coaches, are always uh, under pressure to achieve. And when that pressure gets too much, what happens is they lose a sense of balance and what they should do. And that's why we see things like, you know, as you said, slapping a a player which did not happen in our time because life was a lot more relaxed so we need to find a way of reducing that temperature all around and, and that's a tough call. So go easy on, the, on the, uh, the scores and the points and the awards and let the children enjoy the sport. Absolutely that's the most important thing you know when I think back to my youth you know it was just a lot of fun a lot of playing playing after school, playing till 6.30 in the evening. And it, it was a lot more relaxed. But today when I look at children, I, I do feel sorry for them because the peer pressure, the pressure from every angle is just too much. And these are what we see as results, you know. The stress is getting to people and then they do things which they wouldn't do 
if they didn't have those pressures. Absolutely. So speaking of results, you know, there are, uh, you know, loads of over 250 studies around the world that shows that uh, children, school children, uh, who are exposed to physical punishment uh, become youth offenders later on in life. And, you know, the incidence of ragging in universities, all of that is directly related to uh, punishment and uh, violence in childhood. And over the last year or so, we have seen that our youth in our country have been easily led towards violence against other communities. So as an upstanding citizen, as a respected citizen of our, of our country, what kind of advice can you give the youth today against violence? Yes, uh, it's a very interesting question that you asked, Tush, and I, I need to get a little philosophical in my answer here. You know, I always say, one thing we need to always remember is we don't choose to whom we are born. You know, when we are born, we don't even have a name. We don't have a religion, we don't have a race, nothing. Then we acquire these tags, which I call tags of religion, race, caste, creed, everything. And then we misuse them. And it is the misuse of these tags that ultimately lead to conflict. If we can understand that the fact that I am born and I've been a Buddhist and somebody else was born a Muslim and he's just been born and he's a Muslim. If we can always be aware of that, I think we will treat each other with uh, a lot more respect and love and care than when we forget these things. So it's the incorrect handling of these things that lead to conflict. And as a Buddhist, I can tell you, that's exactly what the Buddha taught us to do, you know, do not judge a person by his caste, creed or religion, you know, he's a Brahmin by his actions. That is what we need to practice. Uh, and sadly, that is lacking in today's youth. I think you hit the nail on the head there now. So coming to the final question, um, we've just celebrated 73 years of independence and we talk about a better country for our children. We talk about our future generation, yet we as a nation has failed in child protection and now it's believed that statistically child protection has become a national crisis in Sri Lanka. As a citizen, as a parent, what one advice or thing would you like the government to do in order to protect our children and what one thing can we as citizens do? Well, I think as citizens what we need to do is highlight this all the time and impress upon the government to do something. And I think maybe they need to change the laws so that uh, something comes into law and the perpetrators, uh, perpetrators do not indulge in um, punishing kids and students. and. Um, there is a lot more awareness amongst everybody that we just cannot indulge in such uh, cruelty. So, but I think a lot depends on what the government stand is. And I do hope that uh, your effort to make this change will succeed and uh, wish you all the best in it. Our discussion today was with the chairman of Noble's group of company and former national cricketer, Mr. Siddharth Vettamuni. Live Traveller, Reader's Digest Bargay YouTube Nalikava.